Uh, we're in the Sea Titans area, which uh, we've scrounged some scrap from earlier. And uh, now we're going to head and, I guess, have to fight those guys that are blocking the path that we need to get to. So down on the left... Oh, we have to go this way. My bad. Down on this left side, uh, there's a locked gate. We know where that key is from the beta. Won't spoil it for anybody, but... Uh, We'll definitely try and tackle this. We heard the voices here. Uh, we took out a couple of stragglers in this area. Uh, we took one out on the left. Is there another one here? I'm not sure. We went this way into that super strong zone. Oh yeah, here's another straggler. Okay. Stay put. Let's go, let's go. Take this guy out quietly. We upgraded your our silenced weapons. Are sinful. Give me your brain so I may lead you into salvation. Yikes. Uh, that's going to be a hard pass from me there, Bill. A hard pass from me. Man, what's our range like on this? I feel like we might be a bit further away than we'd like. 75? Yeah, no, this can work. Oh, and the crit. Pistol. Well done. Feel that? Well done, team. Well done. And the level up. Hi there. So when we snuck around that left side, we had seen a few of these guys. We have a pyro there. Some weird brother dude in the middle. Oh, but you know what? I remember in the in the beta, this was one of those sections where we found another area after hey, follow me. we fought. And we're gonna we're gonna check back here first. See where this leads us. Um I think we're still gonna save this for Corpse Eater. I just think that this is a way of sustaining our tank. And with ducks, um, it's tempting to want to go down this HP route. But I think, I think we're probably going to go Eagle Eye. Just make him a true sniper. Yeah, we have this whole back section up here. Cool, cool. Fina Fiskin. Oh, hello. Yikes. Be cool. Let's see what he's going to do. There's two here. He looks to be isolated. Let's stalk him, if you will. Okay, he's actually giving us plenty of room to do this. Sect Hunter. Hmm, I don't have a spot to hide on that right side. Does he just walk back? He's only got 8 health, so I think these two should be able to do it. As long as I don't miss. Let's see what our shots are like from here. Yeah, so four at 75. Nice crit. Oh, she whiffed! Frick! 
Okay, well. 50-50. Or I could move in. Looks like that would break our... Let's see here. If we can do it from here. Come on now. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah! We did it! Okay, guys, quit yelling. There's a freaking hunter right here. My god. Oh, wait, hold on. Turn your lights off, guys. Jesus Christ almighty. Let me scout a little bit more to see what we're dealing with. There is high ground here. But we would have to use her mutation to get up there in combat. Oh, look at this. We could maybe pick off a few of these back guys here as well. Man, yeah, okay, scouting really does pay off. I know that sounds super obvious. When you say it like that, but... Okay, so here's what we're going to need. We need 16 damage, right? So if we can get the crit here, because we have the high ground, for 7. 4 for 11. 5. 16. Boom. Okay. But they all need to hit. So we can Skull Splitter with this, hopefully, at 75. Beautiful. What do you think about that, huh? And the fire. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. So this would break our concealment. So just seeing if I can squeak out a little bit extra for the hundred percent. That's cool. Oh, the crit as well! Seventy-five. Now, I don't know if it matters if we get caught sneaking here, but... Oh, I can't believe they all crit too. That's really funny. It's overkill. We had the damage oh, without man, you the those two crits. Hey, follow me. That was sick. Okay, okay, okay. So he's got the corpse eater now. It's a major mutation. Uh, let's see how this works. She's got two. I might want to go into some of these passive stats. He's got five, so we're close to either one of these, but I think we're going to go Eagle Eye. So how does this work, if at all? Oh, hello. Ancient Eye. Okay, let's, let's switch this. 10% critical hit chance scope. So... Because it has a cooldown, well, to be fair, he's full health though, so maybe we, maybe it just doesn't, <laughs> maybe it just doesn't work right now. Uh, okay, well, we'll see. We'll keep dabbling. The idea that I have is that in theory should work. Kind of doing this ass backwards route here, but. Wait for him to come up. Because if that if that corpse eater only works in combat, that'll be very disappointing. Because 
I can't imagine a scenario where I'm going to want to run into an enemy and fight them like that, you know? And, and just sit there. Ooh, scary. Well, we can even shoot the guy across the way, potentially. Now it's getting fun. That'll do, pig. Enough. Sweet takedown. Nice shot. Whoops. Now, I don't suppose there's any way... Yeah, no, this is all barbed wired up, so we're gonna have to go this way. Come back here. But I don't see any reason... ...why we don't want to be fighting... ...from up here. Right? Oh, there are some stairs to the left. Hold on. They have st a stairway here they can run up. If we take high ground and high cover, there's no way they're hitting them. And she's she actually has the same deal. Because her, her half cover counts as full. Okay. And then ducks we can just hit from, like, downtown, in theory. I wonder. Hold on, actually. Hold on, actually. So we have this section, too, right, that we saw? If we can fight from here somehow... This is pretty nice. That pyro is close-ish. Hmm. Man, this feels like such a cool ambush spot. I just don't know... If we have the possibility of engaging. <laughs> this is still high ground. I'm just worried that they're going to like run up at us, obviously. So... Let me run over here quick. Yeah, so I can engage on him, and I think that I will. Next time he comes up, we'll do it. You guys ready? Hold on to your butts. Come on over, boys. Well, we have this ladder here, too, but... I might be being too defensive. Come on, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. I know you want to. Give him one more go here. This is very tense. Here he comes. We're doing it.
Oh, the fire too. Absolutely. Out of range. Out of range, that's fine. I think we'll overwatch. Watch. Man, taking him down is going to be really tough. Um, the pyro, I don't know if that's going to be worth. He's already on fire here. I don't know if that's going to help. Let's take the silence shots. The ancients need your help, my children. God, look at that brain on him. Yeah. Have some of my juice. Boosted? Holy That's frick, the armor. Dead. This is a melee guy. He's going to have a lot of running to do. Okay, don't panic, Duxy. Don't panic. Okay. And we can lock these guys all down here if we want. can set that hunter on fire. Out of range. Oh, no. Well, the plus side is we still have high grounds. We're not, we don't have the high ground and the tree, but... Oh, the chem flare is silent, too. Interesting. Did not know. We could take a turn to do this, but actually our shots are pretty good, so I think we're just going to start hammering. Got. Blows him out of cover. Hunter, I mean, he can hit anybody anywhere. Wait, does Ducks have... He does have a smoke grenade, so he could drop this on himself. To put out the smoke. And they won't be able to hit him. Ten crits. Yikes. That's really nice. Drop the smoke here. Now, he does have that ladder, as we mentioned before. I will cleanse the evil that plagues your soul. Shit. Whoa. And it removed their cover. That is something. Or hers, anyway. That's crazy. Oh my god. Okay. When a stalker takes too much damage, they will bleed out. Move close and use a med kit to save them within the indicated turns. Frick. Stalker down. It's reloading. It's gonna toss another one. Two turns on her. Blocked by smoke. We can heal her over here. Which I think we're going to have to do. Up and at him, soldier. Okay. Oh, interesting. And efficient. <laughs> interesting and efficient? I could run and gun down here, but then, like, is that really something I want in my life? Don't know. We could lock them in place. But this pyro is the concern of mine.
We have the hog rush. But what does that do for me? Nothing really. Why can't I run and gun anywhere? Seems weird. Huh. What do we want to do with ducks, man? Look, maybe ducks can take out this pyro. Yeah. Nice. Okay, pyro down. Nighty night. Maybe we lock these guys here, but we do have full cover on any of these, but he's got a way to come. Oh, actually, the way is way over there. I thought the ladder was here, so maybe this is okay. Here's what we'll do. Now, we can take our shots. Or I can heal. Our cover is really good up here, man. I feel like I feel like we kind of have to believe in it. Maybe focus on uh, Bowden as well. Such small damage output. I don't understand why my running gun's not working. That seems weird, right? Seems really weird, man. You know what? Let's just do this. But I am flanked, so hold on. Let's not do that. I wish there were ways of dealing with armor with grenades. A la XCOM, but... Holy hell! Okay, so cover sucks against him. Noted. This guy's got really good aim right now. I don't understand why this isn't working. Oh, maybe I just have to... Yeah, okay, I'm dumb. That's why. That's why it's not working. I just have to activate it and go. <laughs> Jesus. It's unfortunate. We have a decent chance from here. Man, these guys are getting pretty low. Nice. Takes him out of the cover. Hmm. Do we have the damage to kill him? Not unless I move. Hundred percent from here. But this is a big fight, and we're really low. I wonder if we kill him if we kill him too. Because they're linked. So if we take this shot for five, that's three damage. And we would in, we'd need another. Whoops. We would need another shot for five. 
which we could likely get from here after we do a reload. Come on, Selma. Nice! Okay, cool. Okay, cool. I feel like we may have done that in the beta. I'm just not 100% sure. I can't remember if we, we had a guy linked like that. Okay, we have five damage there. And then we have nine here. I think we can kill him, but holy frick. Got. That was dicey. Okay, now, what I'm wondering about is this. Let's see. Yeah, like, it, it almost looks like it has to be in combat, which is just... I can't think of a good scenario... Ah, regroup. ...where I'd be using that. Unless these mutants don't count as organics, for whatever reason. Okay, hold on. A whole bunch of stuff just came in. Hand grenade. Molotov there. Okay. Might have to blast those three uh, med kits here. I want to be really thorough in this area. Because we need as much scrap as we can. Likely going to have to buy some med kits. For the next one, I'm not even, I'm not really finding good opportunities to use that hog rush. Probably better when there's, you know, one or two enemies, because you're just putting yourself in the middle of everything. Um, so we'll keep this equipped. I'm sure people in the comments have already talked about it, um, but because I record ahead, it's tough to catch that all the time. We still have that smoke on him, so that's good. Power brick. Heavy lump of metal the ancients used to connect to machines to make them work. Still seems to be some power in it. Makes your tongue tingle if you lick the top. Thank you. Hey, I've seen these before. You need to lick the top to see if it still works. The ancients used these to run lights and machines. Prip will give us a good deal on this one. It still holds power. Let me just uh, separate these guys a bit. There's the evac control key. Okay, so I'm going to take ducks back to that section. I said I wouldn't spoil earlier, so that's how we find it. It's in that little uh, cabin over there. And then we can just regroup them back. Hello. That was a really dicey fight, man. Okay. 
Thank you. Hello. Pyro armor absorbs fire damage. Ancient fireproof armor made by the mysterious fire department. I, I don't I don't know what's better. It does give three HP, which is nice compared to the, the two here, but you get the armor. Um I guess if we see a pyro, we should just switch into the pyro gear. Um That said, it's better than our stalker armor. So maybe for her we can give this over. Um But with him, I think if we see a pyro and we can't take it out right away, we will we grow. Uh, we'll put it on Borman. Try and absorb some of that. Alright. So where is this taking us? We don't know. This is where the this is where the beta ended. The House of Bones. Ooh hoo hoo. That's so cool. Alright, we're gonna travel there. Oh, it's snowing. Nice. Nice. All right. All right. So now that we have a path here, uh, we're going to go back to the Ark. We won't be able to upgrade any weapons, but I'm definitely going to buy some med kits. Nova Sect. So close to our borders. This is... I should have known. Where the ghouls come, the Nova Sect follow, as they say. If you're a ghoul, you think the Nova Sect is a dedicated group of priests trying to cleanse the world of evil. This is not accurate. The Nova Sect is a psychotic death cult who are trying to destroy the Ark and everyone in it. Their leader, Plutonia, knows we cannot be swayed by her lies. We are not followers, and she hates those who do not follow. The zone is like a warm radiation bath that turns brains into rice pudding. Ugh. But by Yum. hook or by crook, the Nova Sect prosper in the zone. The radiation has actually blessed or cursed their minds with special gifts. They can get inside your head. Put oh, horrible noticed. things inside. Make sure they don't get inside your heads. Yeah, I don't know if it's that easy. But thanks Farewell. for the advice. Remember your elder's guidance. I will. Thank you. Okay, um... Is it Iridius shop? Smoke grenades. Toss a few of these at somebody and they won't see a thing in that smoke cloud. Don't forget trying to aim anything in there. It's useless. Okay. Uh, not exactly. Safe travels. It's not where I want to be. I don't think it's the fix. I think it's the middle one. Here there's a new breed of ghoul out there. They call it the tank ghoul. Basically a brick wall with feet. Or wait, was that it sounds breaking good. through brick walls? Ah, I forgot. Okay, that this sounds bad too. This is just stuff too. I'm hearing from people that come in. Haven't been outside much since my dad died. Sorry, man. Okay, yeah, we can't upgrade any of these. Uh, we do have a scope available for uh, extra crit chance. We just have to find a spot where that's going to make sense. The crit damage here is really good. You know what? Let's put it here. 25% chance to crit for 10? Let's do that. Take it easy. And then it's, yeah, Prip's place. Welcome to Prip's. Okay, so... We could double back here and get this crew bleed out time. Um, improves med kits by 3 HP. Increase grenade damage by 4. So that's pretty big. Additional 10% crit chance against mechanical enemies. Oh, this is actually a tough call because if yes, this is nice because it extends the bleed out time, sure. But 
the goal is to not have anybody bleed out ever. <laughs> right? So... Hmm. I think I'm going to save it and maybe go Blaster Master. Increasing grenade damage by four is no joke. Prost! Okay. Uh, we need to blast our medkits here. And uh, we will just buy so medkits. good to see you, stalkers. I feel like that's where a lot of our money is going to be spent. <laughs> Dude, we're finding a lot of upgrades, so I don't feel too bad about it. Bye. Got to keep our guys alive, so that's what it's going to take. All right, we're going to head back to that section. I'm going to wrap it up here, and uh, when we return, we're going to investigate this crash site at the House of Bones. Up north lies a set of small barracks that seem to have been housing a lot of people. It's evident from the many beds, mattresses, and chairs, not to mention the large heaps of bones that are stacked everywhere. What happened here and who lives there now? Great question. See you guys soon.